take that back step and then set. And you'll see that forearm right there in the crook of his elbow. Kick across. I'm coming through and I'm using that part of my forearm to really push him forward and you'll notice that your your forearm, the blade of your forearm ends up in the crook of his elbow. So if you're doing this and you don't feel your forearm or your wrist slide into the crook of his elbow, your hands aren't doing what they're supposed to do and then this is going to happen. Okay? So as you're, you're coming through on this one, we're going to have one that's on the low sleeve and one that's mid to upper part of his forearm. I don't want to necessarily worry too much about this unless you've got really, really long forearms. I don't, so I usually go about midpoint, okay? And that's specifically so that when I push that forearm forward, it lands in the crook of his elbow, and, and that's it. So other guys have longer forearms. They can jam that sucker in there and they don't have to worry about it too much. I tend to have to go up here, okay? So as I'm coming through, I take that back step and then set. And you'll see that forearm right there in the crook of his elbow. Kick across. 